Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for tuning in to Curry Garage. Today, we've got our friend Dale, who's got a supercharged 1967 Pontiac GTO. The thing gets up and moves and it's super clean. It's a family heirloom with a really cool story. Let's check it out. How's it going, man? All right, John, how are you doing? Good, good. Thanks for bringing this in. What yeah. did you bring to Curry Garage today? Well, today I brought my 1967 Pontiac GTO. This is one of my favorite cars of all time. I, I, I swear it's like a very iconic muscle car. Has this been in your family for a long time? Or? Yeah, it's been in my family since I was a little kid. Really? Yeah, it was oh, my wow. dad's brother's car. Your dad's brother's yeah, car. No, okay, so it's yeah. a family heirloom kind yep. of, huh? So fortunately, my dad's brother passed away, and then my dad ended up having it. My mom uh, needed a car, and this ended up being her daily driver. So this was your mom's daily driver. Daily so she driver. used to drive you around in a 67 Send GTO, Send us to huh? school. We used to run around inside because in the 80s, didn't have seatbelt law. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Back then, was this car gray, or I mean, what? what no, it was a gold color. The stock gold color, okay. uh, Pontiac color. Um, it had a 400. My dad's brother actually put a, the tri power system on it because 1966 was the last year yeah. for the yeah. tri power. Tri power is one of those things that's really kind of GTO specific, yes. you know, like you almost kind of had to have it back yeah. then. That was the thing to have, right? Right. I grew up with cars like this, and my dad was a mechanic. Oh, okay. So, so uh, do you teach you how to build cars? Or? Uh, a little bit. I was stuck around with them and you know, bugging them. Yeah. Probably bugging them. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, and then the gas shortage happened. So uh, the car sat in the backyard for quite some time. Okay. So when did you decide to, you wanted to restore the car? Well, what ended up happening, my mom passed away with cancer. Oh, sorry to hear that. And then, um, and then my, shortly after my dad passed away. Oh. So um, it was a tribute to them to get this car going because we always talked about it, but we didn't have the money. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, good for you. You've done an amazing job. Thank so you. how long did the restoration take? Uh, about three and a half years. Oh, pretty fast, actually. Yeah, thanks yeah. to COVID. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, had, you had some time? Had some time, and then the body shop for the paint and all that uh, had a lot of time because all the cars weren't getting the accidents. <laughs> okay, all right. So. Well, I'd like to kind of see what you did under the hood, so let's go ahead and start there, and okay. then we'll kind of break through the car. Sure. All right, let's do it. That's not a tri power deal. <laughs> no, it's not. What you got going on in here, man? So it's an LSA. Um, LSA, okay. Yeah. yeah so supercharger. supercharged LS. Yes. Yeah, wow. And that must have taken a lot of work. A lot. Yeah. Well, how much horsepower do you think you're making out so, of something like this? Yeah, so they dynoed it at 520 okay. right now. A little conservative. A uh, little conservative because yeah. our, the fuel pump in here, we need to upgrade it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we thought uh, the fuel pump in here was sufficient, but obviously the motor wants more gas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so your fuel system, I see Aeromotive, so I'm yes. guessing the whole thing's Aeromotive? All Aeromotive. Okay, right on. So you just want to dial that up, get some more fuel yeah. pressure coming to it? Okay. Yeah. And then re-dyno, because I mean, the LSA should be making like 700 horse. You probably exactly. get there pretty quick. Yes. Wow. Yeah, so we just did simple uh, modifications. We did the Wagner pulley kit. We did okay. ignition, uh, injectors and then uh, throttle body. And then right just basic stuff. Uh, so 520 to the wheel right now. Which is awesome. I'm yeah. sure you can smoke the tires, no problem. 100%. Yeah, <laughs> right on, man. Well, uh, you know, putting an LS, especially an LSA in an old car like this yes. takes a lot of planning, right? Yes. So did you have to do a lot of modifications to engine mounts and things like that? Yes, um, yeah, so Sire Customs uh, was the one that did the transplant. Sire Customs, okay. Yes, and um, they, are amazing. I mean, they, the one thing about their shop is they let me be there. Ah, okay. I was in there. So you're hands on How, building yes, it with them, doing yes. the mod. Okay, awesome. So yeah, they did move the motor mounts. We tried to move, push the motor as far back. Yeah, as yeah. We can. You are super close to yeah, the firewall, very, and plus they smoothed close. off the firewall, yes. didn't they? Yeah. Yes. Yep. And then you've got your ECU and everything all set up on this side, mm -hmm. right? What's in the back right there? So that's uh, for the um, supercharger. 
Oh, so that's, that's your coolant? Yes. Okay, got it. Yeah, got so it. this is the air box that he custom made. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like that because you're getting cool air out of the fender instead Correct. of running a filter in here where yes. it's hot, right? Yes. Yep. And then you've got the Willwood set up, and is that Hydro Boost? Yes. Yeah, how so do you like that? Love it a lot. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, it's a lot of brake. A lot of brake. <laughs> yep, yep. So that's all running off of the power steering fluid, isn't it? That's correct. Okay. Is that what this is? Is this your power this steering reservoir? Yes. Oh, that's cool. It's all integrated into the box. Yes. Nice. And you did you custom make that? He custom made that. Okay. Yeah. Sire custom yep. did? Right on. Right on. And then as far as cooling, yeah, this, so, got, you got to keep this stuff cold, right? Yeah. So basically, uh, Ron Davis uh, okay. was the radiator that we went for. Okay. And um, that's, that's high end. That's quality stuff. Yeah. 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 Okay, and it, does this thing run cool on the when Very you're driving? Cool. Okay. Yeah, like 195. Oh wow. Regular. Yeah, oh, up to two, 202 max. And is this a pump gas or? Pump gas now. Okay. Well, you've done an amazing job on here. It's definitely not a tri-power GTO, but I think yeah. you've done the upgrade. Yes. I've thank heard you. you've done some upgrades to the interior too. A lot from TMI. Yeah. Yes. Let's, let's check it out. Okay. I was going to TMI to check out color. Yeah. And it just so happened one of the CEOs were there and they asked me if this was my car. Yeah. And then they go, well, today's your lucky day. Oh, did he fall in love? He, he fell in love. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Even though there was nothing in the car as far as interior goes, but yeah. the outside and everything was done. Oh, okay. So yeah. you brought a done car over there and you were just going to do some color samples, color samples or something? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. then you ended up doing everything. I mean, everything. You, did, you did front seats, rear seats, uh, center console. Trunk. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow, man. That's amazing. And it, so you had nothing in this? It nothing just in it. bare shell? Bare shell. Okay. Did yeah. you dynamat and all that? Dynamat, too? everything okay. completely done. All right. Yes, all right. I did all that, and that was, that was a, a challenge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I, uh, the TMI guys, yep, you've got a one-piece one headliner. One-piece headliner. That's that's the, super that makes pretty. a lot. Yeah. Yep. What about creature comforts? Do you have uh, AC in this car? Definitely. Or? Definitely, yeah. the, yes, definitely have uh, AC. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, I'm seeing the shifter in the center console. This is an auto car. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Do you know what trans is in it? Yeah, 480L. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So you've got the big 4L80 in yeah. it. Yeah. So this thing just cruises down the freeway? It cruises down. Nice, man. Like a regular car uh, until you step on it. <laughs> until you step on it, until you're starting to make power. Yeah. 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 Now, yeah. the GTO gauges, I think, are just the round gauges, right? Yes. Are they all factory? Or? So it is round gauges, but it's the Dakota. Digital. Oh, Dakota Digital. Yes. Yeah. How'd you like the install on oh, that? Oh man, that was it was easy. Yeah. Yeah, it was easy. Plus we went with the the BMI box. Oh, for okay. the LS. Oh, for the LS. So it was just so everything's plug just a plug in and play and yeah. it's reading and everything yeah. beautifully. Yeah. A little That's bit awesome. of tweaking with the uh, setting it up, but okay. it's fairly easy. Okay. Well, I, I I love the color choice. Yeah. So this was a new color. Yeah. Uh, the seats were actually the new seats for this year too. It's like a distressed kind of look. Yeah, and then it has the stripe in the middle. And uh, I kind of wanted to match some of the black areas in the car. It, it just matches the car. Yeah. Perfectly. I love it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank no, you. I love it. Is it comfortable? Very comfortable. Yeah. It looks, com it looks yeah, comfortable. Yeah. It's very comfortable and i um, very happy with it. Hey, man. That's awesome. Well, they've, they've done a nice job. The TMI did the whole install. They too? did the whole install, too. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So, basically, um, they wanted to basically the Chevelle kit fit. Oh, really? Yeah, there were some things that didn't fit, so yeah, now... Yeah, so Chevelle is an A body, GTO is an A body, yes. so they were probably checking the fit to the make sure. The fitment. And then now, um, anybody that went on their site and wanted something for a 67, they took it off this car. It's beautiful. I love the wheel choice because I know they're shot wheels, Yes. right? And you can't see their center caps. That's what it. size did you end up going with? So uh, the rear is 11 by 19. Yeah. Tire size is a 325, 30, 19. 325. Did you have to tub the car? Yes. No way. Yeah. Wow, you took a GTO and cut it up and tubbed it. Dude, tubbed more it. kudos to you. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, and so the with the with the fitment, I'm guessing then you got the wheel and tire first and then tubbed yes. it? Yes. So we actually tubbed it first. Yeah. And then we got your rear end okay and then um and then we went and tried to figure out the, t the tire dimension oh the okay size. right on so you did the wheel and tire after the yes. rear end oh man well i love the depth on it what's yes. cool about the shot wheels is you can't see the lug nuts yes right because the cap disappears and then it kind of cap hides disappears it. and everybody thinks it's one of those uh center 
Like a center lock, lock wheel, like a Porsche. Yes. Yeah. So, but I keep telling them, if you look real close, you can see the... You can see the little sleeve <laughs> the on little it. little sleeve on it. Yeah, and then if you look at it, the brake really fills up the wheel, man. What did you do? Yeah, so I went a little extreme. A little, ext a little extreme, just a <laughs> little yeah, bit? Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, so what are the brakes? Uh, so basically, it's off a C6 Corvette. Whoa. And okay. six, six pin stink caliber. Okay. Uh, and, and the diameter is a 15 and a half rotor. 15. And a half inch rotor. Yeah, front and back. You know, most guys have 15 inch wheels on their car, right? Yes. This car probably came stock with 14 inch <laughs> wheels. Probably, yes. You've got a bigger brake on this car than, than the, the stock wheel yeah. that came on this car. Yeah. Man, you went all out. Yeah. And, and you had to make all that fit yes. inside the wheel. Yes. Was that a struggle? Very much so. So, uh, you know, I had to convince Dave over there at Shot to yeah. help us out a little. And yeah. then Sire, he's pretty knowledgeable on wheels. So, we ended up going to shot and hashed it out. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and you had them build the wheel to fit the brake? Correct. Oh man, that's yeah. a lot of work. So it's about a 30,000 clearance. Where? From, from the, uh, uh, the, cal uh, the, the caliper to the yeah. spoke? Whoo, that is not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. Wow. Well, yeah. kudos to shot and to you guys for yeah. making all that work. I'm actually kind of anxious to take a look at the tub and the suspension on it. We can do that. Can we get it on the lift? Definitely can. All right, let's do it. All right. So I'm noticing that you did a full frame off, didn't you? Yes, I did. Oh, wow, man. So you do have a lot of work in this car. Yes. Yeah, but being a family heirloom, that's probably what you wanted to do. Definitely what I wanted to do. Yeah. So you'd be here in the family. Kind of honor mom and dad yeah. too with it, right? Yeah, good job. I can tell that the cross members yes. are a little different than standard A-body, huh? Yeah, he uh, custom made that. Really? So yeah. this is custom made, just tied into the factory frame? Yes. And this is your trans cross member, right? Yep. But these are new. Yep. Okay. And is that just for stiffening up the, stiffening it up. the chassis? Mm -hmm. How's it feel when it drives? Stiff. Yeah. <laughs> nice work, man. Yeah. Really, I, I like how it's all nice and tidy. And that, yeah. that's really cool. I, that definitely is a neat idea. I've never seen that before. And then you've got the undercoating on the body. Yes. Yeah, so it, it looks brand new under here. Yeah. Wow, great job. Thank you. And then you. I love the, you've got the X-pipe in the exhaust. And what mufflers are you running? Magnaflow. Magnaflow? Yeah. Okay, how do you like the sound? I love it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's really nice. Is it something that, you know, is it is it loud? Is it soft? What do you feel? Um, it's not too crazy. Yeah. But it's you, you, when you get on the gas, it's... it's That's it's when a, it wakes it's up. It's a good one. Yeah. yeah. When, you, when you're idling around, it sounds kind of like, almost like subdued and soft. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. And is that kind of what you wanted a cruiser? What I wanted it to do. Yeah. And you took it all the way out the back and over the rear end. That's it. Oh, man. Well, it's, uh, speaking of the rear end, um, yep. I was noticing that this is our crate rear end. Yeah. You know, this is right off the shelf at Curry. And uh, we actually keep these in stock. We ship them really quick now. And you, then you basically, when you tubbed it, you measured for the wheel after the fact. Yes. Got it. All right. So how did the install go? Install went well. Yep. Easy, fast, Easy. simple, bolted Every, right in. Everything kind of lined yeah. up with where it was supposed to? Yeah. Right on. And then as far as tubbing it, that must have been a lot of work. Yeah. Well, I didn't do the work. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> but they did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I was there. Yeah. I was there and then uh, I watched every step of it. Well, those are some wide tires you've got underneath yeah. this. And that's cool. It, it's, a, it's a crate stock width rear end and everything bolted up exactly the way it was supposed to. Yep. That's good news. Gear ratio, what did you go with? 370. 370. Yeah. That's a good all around gear, isn't it? All around. Well, yeah. I love the fact that it's our crate rear end. Um, you've got a drain plug on it and the sway bar bolted right up with yep. all the lower control arm mounts in the factory location and uh, that everything fit the way it was supposed to for yeah. you. I'm noticing that you were able to even get the exhaust up and over. Up and over. That's a lot of tight yeah. work, man. But nice job. Oh, hey, let's check that out. You got a little limiting strap right there. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, lowered springs, so. Oh, because the, the spring is a lot shorter. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. So we keep them in place. Oh, okay. So then when you get this thing up on a lift, those don't fall don't out? Don't fall out. Oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. That's a nice little touch. I like that. Yeah, that's definitely not stock, but that's cool. <laughs> I, I dig it. And you've got the Coney shocks. Yep, Coney adjustables. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. And, and how do you like the ride with those? It's nice. It's nice. Right now, it's a little stiff for me. So mm -hmm. the only thing is you have to take them off and crank them down to readjust them. Oh, so. to readjust it. So you actually yeah. have to take the shock off to yeah. adjust it? Yeah. Yeah, these ones you do. Okay. Well, how many miles do you think you've got on this setup? It can't be many. Not many. Yeah. Um, 3,000, 4,000. Right on. Yeah. 
Right on, man. Well, I'm going to guess then they're probably going to loosen up and soften up as I you drive. I hope so. That's why we haven't changed it. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. so we'll see. Okay. Well, I'd love to experience the in the car. Most you want to go take it for a drive? Let's go. All right, let's do it. one of those things where I, I wasn't at one time. Really? It yeah. was all the work, right? Yeah. To make it work? And then uh, then my guys were like, ah. The reward, once it's done though, yeah. you know, is that back there, right? right? Something coming, I see good things coming, I know good things coming. Whoa, nice. What am I hearing too? Like it's it's doing like a beep at us. Or yeah, something. they have my uh, tack set, so so that's when it's just yeah. Running. And then also it's telling me to stop going because of the they lowered the um, the tune on it. Oh, gotcha. Like yeah. hey, okay, it's a good stop. You know, like don't no, no rev yeah. it past this for now. Yeah, I otherwise understand. your fuel. Hey, that's that's a cool feature though. Man. Yeah, on the Dakota Digital, you can set that up. So how awesome is that now, where you don't have to have some big shift light on the dash? I know, right? Telling That'd you, be... like, hey, this is your your, your rev limiter. You got to yeah. stop. You know, so it's all kind of dialed into the modern, you know, modern Dakota era. Digital. Yeah. It's that's awesome. hell of a job on this car man i gotta tell you thanks john like i think what you've done is you've basically just defined the term resto mod awesome you really have dude you've done an amazing job on this car really appreciate it thanks a lot for bringing it out all right thank, thank you, john. you all right we'll see you okay hey guys do you have a curry equipped car and want to be featured on curry garage reach out to us send us a dm on facebook or instagram or send an email to the email address below thanks for watching if you like this video subscribe here if you want to see more Curry Garage, click here and for more Curry content, right here.